It's three o'clock. We'll now call our traffic and parking commission meeting to order. As, uh, as required, I'll read uh, how we amend or appeal the process we go through. If you are not satisfied with the decision made by the Traffic and Parking Commission, you may appeal the decision by filing for a writ of certiorari with the Davidson County Chancellor of Circuit Court. Your appeal must be filed within 60 days of the date of the entry of the Commission's decision. We advise that you seek your own independent legal advice to ensure that your appeal is filed in a manly, in a timely manner and that all procedural requirements have been met. Okay. Can I have approval of the uh, minutes of March the 11th? So okay. Second. Uh, motion second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. So approved. Yes. On our, our consent agenda, I'll refer to that a little bit further later in our meeting. <clears throat> Under old business, we'll be talking about Fifth Avenue, one way to two way conversion, Lafette to James Robinson Parkway. How many here would like to speak, either for or against? Okay. How many is for the two way conversion? Okay. And how many is opposed? Okay. We, you know, we deferred this last month, and I think we've heard uh, pretty much both sides. But we'll ask those, and, and I'll take those that's in favor of the two-way first in a public hearing. If you will, line up behind the lectern here. Excuse me, Mr. Okay. Chair. Mr. Chair. Yes. Um, unfortunately, Mr. Chair, after uh, much discussion with our legal counsel, um, I have decided that since I operate a business that borders Fifth Avenue, that it's not in my best interest or in the best interest of the commission um, <clears throat> for me today to take part in any discussion or vote on the uh, conversion of Fifth Avenue. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Sanderson. Okay. Everyone understand that. All right. Those that uh, would like to speak in favor of the two-way would line up at the lectern and uh, try to limit your conversation because it's going to be a long meeting to two minutes and as you speak then if you would sign the sheet on the table and give your name and who you represent okay but first of all let me ask are there, are there any council members here in this behalf and would they like to speak if not, we'll proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm a former councilman, so I'll, I'll take this opportunity to go first. My name is Adam Dredd, and I'm the attorney for Tootsie's Orchid Lounge, Honky Tonk Central, and Rippy's, located right on that corner you're discussing today. And I, on behalf of those businesses, we're in, in support of converting it to two-way. Thank you. Could you sign in? I have, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I've never been a councilman. Um, my name is Tony Giratan. I'm a developer downtown. I'm in the parking business. We've developed over a thousand residential units and operate over 15,000 parking spaces downtown every day. Um, like a lot of folks here, I was surprised to learn that Fifth Avenue was um, contemplated to go uh, two-way. Um, since that news, I've had a chance to uh, study it and talk to a lot of folks uh, for and against and, and talk with a lot of the um, property owners in the area and think about it. Um, I've had the uh, pleasure of speaking to my friend in Traffic and Parking Commissioner uh, Brenda, uh, and I've spoken to Council Lady Erica Gilmore as well, and considered what the impact of this would be on property values downtown. My um, perhaps most um, meaningful for today is that we own the corner of Fifth and Church, which is a prime development site in downtown Nashville, which is why I was so focused on this. My conclusion is that uh, Fifth, um, Fifth Avenue going two ways makes a lot of sense. It's while one-way traffic carries more volume at a higher rate of speed, two-way creates a safer pedestrian uh, atmosphere and I think will help retail in the area. Uh, we'll certainly 
certainly serve to, um, I think, enhance the value of our property at, at Fifth and, and Church. And so um, given all that, um, I'm supportive of the two-way. One of the issues that I think has not been um, fully uh, addressed is loading. Uh, whether that be for tourism or musicians uh, or otherwise. And given that, I think that it would be um, uh, uh, a good recommendation um, to approve the two-way for the duration of, of the road, for the entirety of the road, but ask that the implementation of the two-way be postponed for a month to allow Public Works to address the loading issues that have been raised um, by um, several of the uh, property owners and uh, businesses along the street. Okay. Thank you for allowing me the chance right. to talk. I don't want to cut you off, but I think a recommendation comes from the staff will later will cover your loading on that loading Great. situation. Thank you, and I have signed in. Good, thank you. Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Next. My name is Ron Gobble. I'm an architect. I've got my office on Fifth Avenue, and I've been there for a little over 25 years. Uh, we understand planning and the Urban Land Institute and others saying that two-way is good for for urban redevelopment, we also understand the common sense part of saying that street needs to be consistent going either all two-way or all one-way. Uh, those things make sense to that. For that reason, we're for it. Uh, I think the challenge we have that Tony mentioned is congestion and loading and unloading, and I want to express my appreciation to Traffic and Parking Commission as well as Public Works and others for everybody trying to work together to find a way to solve those issues. We also have an alley behind it that serves 60 something residences and so we can't move that loading to that alley. So all that being said, I think we've got a plan. I think it's gonna work. Uh, and again, I appreciate everybody's uh, willingness to talk to us about it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, sir. Next. Uh, good afternoon. Commissioners, Chair, I'm um, Tom Turner with the Nashville Downtown Partnership. Um, we have um, advocated uh, two-way streets in downtown Nashville since 2002, and um, specifically on this street after conferring with our retail consultant uh, who developed our retail strategy and conferring with various traffic engineers. Uh, we, we fully support the conversion from one-way to two-way, and we think that the loading zone uh, issues that face uh, Fifth Avenue and uh, both front and rear uh, can be taken care of uh, with some uh, discussions that we've had with public Public works uh, regarding the flexibility of the zones both in front and the rear and just to summarize we fully support the conversion from one way to two way okay thank Thanks. you mr turner yeah mr chairman ladies and gentlemen my name is ted cromer um, i'm currently employed by Cheritana development we're located at 421 church street I'm also the past president of the Tennessee Art League, who recently moved their offices and their operations to uh, Fifth Avenue between Church and Union. I'm familiar with the block between Church and Union since our office is in close proximity to it. As an architect and a developer, I've designed over 12 million square feet of retail projects. Based on that experience, I can state without doubt that most retailers insist on a location on two-way streets. Since visibility is a key factor in retailing, the benefit of attracting uh, traffic from two directions far outweighs any other considerations. I've studied the improvements recently made to the block uh, between church and union and would not have designed anything differently if it had been known in advance that it would be a two-way street rather than a one-way street. The Tennessee Art League has adopted a new regimen for drop-off and pick-up of paintings that we believe will work better with a two-way traffic system than with a one-way system. I support approval of this two-way uh, traffic system for Fifth Avenue, and I thank you for your consideration of this project. Okay. Thank you very much. Have you signed in? No, sir. Okay. If you would, please. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Hi, good afternoon. I'm Charles Starks with the Nashville Convention Center and Music City Center, and I also am here this afternoon in support of the conversion from one way to two way on Fifth Avenue. And I think I really look at it from two perspectives of, of being on either side of Broadway as we look at this. Certainly, with all the development we've done for the Music City Center and all the blockage, all, all the work that's coming in that block between Korea and veterans and to Mumbry and then continuing on to Broadway, we certainly support that and looking at what's better for the development. As so I think, as you just heard, certainly two-way traffic and being able to get back and forth in and out of the convention center. When I look at it from the Nashville Convention Center side, with the work that we're looking at for redevelopment between Broadway and Commerce Street at this time, there's a number of our redevelopment opportunities that we're exploring there where two-way traffic is, while maybe not essential to making it occur, certainly is very, very beneficial to us as we look at development and what could occur with those exhibit hall spaces as we move forward. Certainly we understand the loading and unloading, and I think there is some, some plans working there that we feel will accommodate that to be able to get people people in and out of both the existing center and certainly the new convention center has most of its parking and loading up on 6th and 7th Avenue at this time. So anyway, we are in support of it from both the convention center sides, both Music City Center and the Nashville Convention Center. So thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, sir. Next. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Rotermel with the new Omni Nashville, checking our first guest 175 days from today to be exact. And we are in full support of converting Fifth Avenue from one way into two way. And the main reason is that all of our retail for our hotel will be along Fifth Avenue across from the Music City Center. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Next. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Brent Himes. I am the general manager of the Tennessee Performing Arts Center and War Memorial Auditorium. And while I stand in the Would four, you speak up a little bit? While I stand in the four line, I, it is with great reservation, though, that because we we are concerned about the number of load ins that we have in our building, the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. We have over 200 load ins a year at that in that one dock location on Fifth Avenue. Um, it the state also has two docks on that on that block or on the two blocks that we are on, and the uh, the Tennessee State Museum also has a dock there. So. I have a very, we all have a very good relationship with Public Works and we depend on that to be able to do what we do, to load in the arts that goes into our building. And I know that in working with them that they will work very closely with us to figure out ways that we can continue to operate our businesses, but it, it is something that is an unknown. We know now that's difficult, but and we know it could, it's going to make it more difficult, but it is something that we will we'll work with the city on, uh, of course, but it is a concern of ours. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. I noticed the council lady just came in. Would you like to speak? I would, please, if I may have the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. Um, I want to thank each of you for providing me the opportunity to speak on the street change of Fifth Avenue from please a one-way. Please identify yourself, please. To two-way, yes. <laughs> I am Council Member Erica Gilmore for the 19th District. I represent uh, part of the downtown area, and that's why I'm speaking right. uh, this afternoon. We knew you. We just want these people to know who you are. Yes, I appreciate it. You keep me on protocol. That's appropriate. <laughs> um, there has must been much conversation and controversy about the street change within the last two to three months. I have attended several meetings about this two-way street. One meeting was held at the Arts Company on April the 3rd, and prior to this, there was a meeting at the Tenney Gallery on March the 22nd. And prior Prior to this, there was a meeting held between Public Works, myself, and Geritano on March the 15th. However, I do not know of a public meeting that has been held about the two-way street change. I am for the success of the Convention Center. After all, many resources have been poured into this facility, and as a council member, I want to see it succeed. So the issue of the two-way street as it relates to the Convention Center is not an issue for me here. However, what is an issue is a two-way street as it relates to Fifth and Church all the way to James Robertson, um, James Robertson Parkway. Excuse me. I would appreciate a one uh, deferral that was granted prior. To, I, we know I do appreciate. Excuse me, the one meeting deferral that was gr granted prior to this month. However, it appears to me that there needs to be more dialogue and feedback from the businesses and the owners from Fifth and James Robertson. There's been a lot of outreach from Public Works. However, I do believe there could be more and this could also create goodwill. 
in my line of work, I try to work with people and do things with people, not to them. And I think there's been a little link missing there with that. And um, as I continue on, um, I hope that the issues can be addressed um, that were brought forth. I don't want to reiterate what's already been brought forth. But um, I think it's a really good idea that the two-way street will show that the study and the data will improve the traffic flow. It will not congest it. It would aid and create an increased business and not kill it. In addition, the loading and the un unloading will be addressed as well as the alley, which we've heard before. In closing, I thank you for your time. I am requesting that there be a um, deferral for the part of Fifth Avenue that runs from James um, Robertson Parkway to Church Street so that business owners, owners can better grasp how the unloading and loading will be handled on the streets as well as the tight alley that is behind their business. And so that's for the portion that I'm asking for. Once again, I thank you for your time and your service. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mark, would you like to make any comments on Fifth Avenue before we, we hear those that's in opposition? Uh, Truthfully, I meant to call on you first, so <laughs> so if you'll offer any comment, if you have any, if not. I can just wait until we okay, have the public hearing finished. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. Those in, uh, in opposition to Fifth Avenue being two-way would like to file behind the lectern and and as you speak please be sure and sign the sign in sheet here who you are and who you represent and if you're not all if, it, if at all possible try not to repeat yourself uh, items that the prior speaker has, has referred to or talked about so good afternoon to all my name is Layla and I have a few businesses downtown I live downtown, so therefore, I really have a hands-on experience of what downtown feels like with pedestrians and with traffic flow. If I felt it was a productive idea to have Fifth Avenue a two-way street, I would be all for it. But unfortunately, I don't think it is. The first point I have here is the loading of trucks, which everybody has mentioned, and they said, well, that could be fixed. How can it be fixed? I have no idea, unless you expand the street wider. Good luck with that. Trucks stand in the lane of traffic to load goods to all businesses. I do have pictures of that. May I show it to you? you your time is running out. You've got a minute, so it's up to you. Okay, I'll pass it along. I also, there's another point. There's a lot of parking going into Fifth Avenue. If anybody is a, um, familiar with Third Avenue and the Pinnacle building, as you drive down Third Avenue, it's a, a two-way street with single lanes, and when you try to get into a parking lot, the cars just jam up one by one by one. And in fact, they have a couple police officers to try to conduct the traffic. And they are still at a standstill because once traffic stops, it stops. So on Fifth Avenue, we have at least five entrances going into parking lots, which will domino effect a cluster of congestion. Okay? Point number three. Your time's running short. Yes, sir. In fact, it's out. But go ahead. Give yes, sir. One last, one last word, please. Because this hasn't been mentioned. Pedestrian traffic at 5th and Broadway is the most foot traffic. It also is the number one drop-off point for hotels and shuttle buses and tourist buses, which brings all these people to all our businesses on honky-tonks, restaurants, boot stores, art stores. It would be very dangerous if it was a two-lane traffic. Um, people could get hit, so it's a dangerous issue as well. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate everybody. Here's some more hate, pictures. Hate to cut you off, but we have had to set a time limit. I understand. Next. Hi. Good afternoon. I'm Jeff Reimer. I own the Reimer Gallery downtown on at uh, Fifth. Miss, did you sign the sign-in sheet? Excuse me. 
I did. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, go ahead. And I live at, uh, at Fourth and Church. Uh, I so much appreciate all that the city's doing for Fifth Avenue, the beautification. We're going to be turning on the lights on June 1st. We couldn't be more excited about it. The concern that I have is how do we study and understand what's going to happen to Fifth if and when it becomes two-way. So really what I'm asking is that I believe there's going to be a uh, transportation study, the first one since 2002, over the next several months. That area of downtown has changed so much in the last 10 years. So I think if we have an understanding of uh, do the study and defer it until we have the study so we can see how we can live and adapt to uh, if we become two-way. So I'm really asking that we have a deferral until we have that study completed. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Uh -huh. And did you sign in? Hi, I'm Susan Tinney with Tinney Contemporary Gallery, and first thing I want to do is thank both the commissioners and uh, and Public Works for trying to meet with us, uh, for commissioners for giving us an opportunity to have a month to talk to Public Works and Public Works for trying to come up with what we hoped would be a solution to our concerns. Um, I'm up here to, I, I, I hate to reiterate, but I do think that to rush into um, having a two-way traffic on the north side of Fifth Avenue is is um, kind of rushing things. I really think that a study needs to be done. We're very excited about the um, Music City Center and think that the south side of Fifth Avenue being two-way makes a lot of sense, but we really feel, str I feel very strongly that there's not been enough data, there have not been enough studies, there has not been enough input, and, and the businesses and residents on the south side of Fifth Avenue have not been a part of this conversation. I think that when, a st a st I, I would like to respectfully ask for a study to be done um, and to involve the community when that when that takes place. So, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And sign the sheet. Hi, my name is Barrett Hobbs. Uh, thank you, Commissioner, our commission and the uh, chair. Uh, I come up from you guys uh, from two points of view. One is I have four businesses that are either on Broadway or just off of Broadway, and I'm also the co-chair of the downtown business district uh, for the merchants. And we have had an influx, or I have had an influx of uh, concerns, many that have already been spoken about today, so I won't rehash that. But I think the point of drawing a line with Broadway and saying that south of Broad and north of Broad, if folks don't see that there's distinct differences in how these two areas will move forward and have and how they have operated in the past, it's pretty obvious. 